Hello, Lydia. How are you? Oh, you say that you're busy, right? That's okay. Um, we're just gonna wait for everybody else to join too. All right. Just this. There we go. Hold on, let me send a message to everyone. Hello, Ellie, welcome. I know that you're busy too, so let's just wait. I know, I am almost done. Oh, you're almost done, all right, nice, nice. Good to know. So we're missing Idalia, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. No, no, she's not, Ellie. She's she's studying. All right, thank you for being here. How are you, Miguel? How was your weekend? Fine, I guess. Was it good? What do yeah, you do? I think. Did you go out? So, I mostly spent my time sleeping because I, ha I had a little bit of a headache, but... Besides that, it was good. I found another novel to read, and I think. All right, that's good. Which novel are you reading now? Um, hold up. I actually forgot the name. I need to find it in the my reading list. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, so I know everybody else is busy right now, guys. But thank you so much for being here. And I'd like to ask you guys uh, about the progress of the platform. Um, we need to have finished the platform before this coming Thursday, okay? So I, if, you're, if you've been following along, you know, if you've been doing the platform along with me, then you should be on the same, uh, you, you should be on the same spot where we left off last time, okay? So, um, so let's work on that. Uh, Miguel, what part of the platform are you on? Hold up, I actually... Advance it a little bit, and I'm actually a little bit ahead. So let me check. I just do the final exams. Okay. The did final. you do the? Um, did you the do? Final. Did you finish yes. section one, two, and three already? Yeah, but not perfect. Okay. All right. Let's go over the answers. To. Let's go over the answers that you have, and then we're gonna move on from there. Okay. All right, but thank you very much, Miguel. All right, so uh, share your screen with me and then we're gonna go through the answers together, right? So share your screen so we can take a look at the answers. Um, okay. All right. Oh. Hold a second, my internet is a little bit okay. messy right now. Not working right. This thing is, isn't loading. I understand, man. Don't worry. Yep. It's 
Okay. Oops. I'm gonna Let's... send another message, guys. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Which I actually don't remember in what in what part we were we were at the time. Okay, right. Uh, I think just, was... just go to progress. All right, you can go to progress. I think it was section two. Okay, right. So you got it from section no, two. No, wait. It was section three then. Because we... Okay. Yeah, I think. All right, go go to progress. No, go go I to. Uh... Do all the text. Go go to the upper left corner. Yeah, and I did. It's it, we were at second. Okay, all right. Then you can you can easily see the topics that we have not completed so far. All right, so section three. All right, so section yeah, three and yeah, section I'm pretty four. Sure it section three. Okay, all right. Yeah, so because click, I didn't. Do that's okay. All right, let's click on. <laughs> let's click on section three. All right. And everybody, uh, Lydia and, and Ellie, if you have time, let's follow along so we can complete these sections, okay? All right. And this, is, this thing is being slow. I understand, man. Don't worry. So what else, man? So so what is this? All right, hold on. It's coming up now. So you skipped one, right? The listening exercise? Okay. Yeah, this one. All right, let's click on that. All right, so click on the listening exercise and we'll see what we have. But this one, I, oh. Okay, my grades this, weren't I very think, good last yeah, semester. Or three, that I if only my can't grades. Find the right answer. Okay, all right, very good. Let me show me the answer. I, get, I only skipped this one. All right, show me the answers to see what what's wrong with that sentence. Oh, you think you lost connection for a moment? Yep. Yeah, I can see. Even your page lost connection. It's getting a little bit too slow, to be honest. Honest, to be honest. To be honest. Well, you yeah. can say honest too, but. Uh... So that's mm -hmm. the listen exercise, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not working in here. All right, so we're going to go through. Oh, no, you know why? This is the platform, I think. It's giving me an issue, too. Just try to reload it again. It should come up this time. I just did. And it's taking a while. 3.9, right? Mm -hmm. I think we were in 3.8. 3.8, okay. Yeah. All right, so you said my grades were in very good last semester. If only my grades had been great or had been, yeah, had been, uh, what what was your answer? Because I think, you know, I mean, you couldn't have said my, if only my grades hadn't, be, hadn't been uh, very good last semester. I don't know what your answer was. What do you think the answer for this one is? For 3.8? Yes. Oh. All right, let me, see your, let me see your answer. Let me see that answer. If only my grades had been good last semester. Actually, those are the ones that I, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's actually okay. All right, but, you know, it might have been it. Because it could be like you say, if only my grades had been better, or if only my grades had been great. Okay, so let's try with better. Okay, the answer is is good, man. All right, but let's try with better and see what we got. You should come up with the right answer this time around. All right, so let's see if, if it accepts that. Okay, show me the answer for. For this. You got, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Show me that. I wish I wasn't feeling very stressed these days. I wasn't feeling? 
since it's I was not feeling. I don't know. What do you think? I wish I say it says I'm feeling very stressed these days. I wish I wasn't feeling this. Uh, I wasn't feeling that stressed. This what about what about what about stressed? Just stressed. Let's try it. Yeah, I didn't think of using that. So that is what is what? what which one is that one? Number five, right? Number I five. Wish I weren't feeling so stressed this day. Yeah, try it so stressed. And also, do you, do you say a wasn't or I weren't? No, wasn't. Weren't. Weren't. Do you remember why? I tried with weren't. First person. No, no, no. It's not because of third person. No, the mm -hmm. it's because it's a it's an unreal situation. Oh. Remember? Mm -hmm. Very good. What about that one? Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I watched too much TV and I didn't read enough when I was a kid. And you said if only I hadn't watched that much TV and read more when I was a kid. I mean, that's okay. But what about if only I hadn't watched so much television? Because take a look at this. I watched too much TV. So what he's regretting is watching mm -hmm. too much TV, right? Mm -hmm. So if only I hadn't watched so much TV and had read more when I was a kid. Remember that then we have the second sentence, didn't read enough when I was a kid. Um, I mean, the second clause, right? That is in simple past. So that mm -hmm. becomes past, past perfect, right? Okay. Very good. Okay, so let's try it. Good job, Ellie. All right, let's see. If only I hadn't watched so much television. Did you type in television? Because otherwise it's not going to take it. Just TV. No, television. All right. Yeah, that's not your fault, man. It was it was a good answer, answer to be honest. All right. There yep. you go. That's right. <laughs> all right, man. That's not your fault, okay? Very good job, man. Very good job. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at the other ones. The, one, the ones that are complete? No, no, no. Uh, the ones that you have not completed. All right. Okay. Let's make sure that we have finished everything up to section three, or three already. Uh, Ellie, uh, if you have anything that you have not finished, you can also bring it up so we can go ahead and. I, I have finished this one, but I don't remember what what was there. Uh, All right. Let's right try to pull it up and, and we'll see. All right. So okay. let's go to uh, the rest of the. Oh, you haven't done that one. No. Yeah. Okay, right. Ellie, have you have you finished that one? one? Yeah, but I don't remember how, how it's going. Okay, right. Yes. I, I, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Very good. Let's go ahead and play it and then let's play it, okay? Let's go. Okay. A. Listen to these on the street interviews. What values do these people think are important? Number the values in the order you hear them. We're back on the street for the Ask the People portion of our show. Today, our question is, what values do you think are the most important and why? Now, I just have to find some people who are willing to talk to me. Excuse me, sir. Yes? My name is Andy Simmons. I'm a reporter for WQZ, and we're on the air. Do you have a moment to talk with us? Uh, well, uh, I'm on my way to work. This should just take a moment. Well, okay, but make it fast. Okay. We're asking people what they think are the most important values in today's society and why. Hmm, that's a tough one. I guess I think it's important to listen to your parents. Kids these days. My kids never listen to anything I say. Aha, uh -huh. so you think it's important to respect your parents? That's right. Sorry, I've got to go. Bye. Goodbye. Boy, was he in a hurry. Miss, excuse me. Miss, hello? Hmm? Yes? Do you have a second? I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. I'm doing a radio show. Uh-huh. Well, um, we're asking people on the street what values they think are important and why. I'm sorry. I don't really have much time. It'll just take a second. Okay, then. I don't know. I guess that honesty is important. 
You know what they say, honesty is the best policy. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I mean, you're just going to get in trouble if you're not honest. At least, that's been my experience. I see. Listen, I have to go. Thanks. Let's see if I can find one more person. Oops! Ouch! I'm sorry. I didn't see you standing there behind me. Are you okay? No! You stepped on my toes. What are you doing standing here anyway? Well, actually, I'm interviewing people. I'm Andy Simmons from WQZ. What's that? I'm Andy Simmons from the radio station WQZ. I'm doing on-the-street interviews. Oh, okay. We're asking people about values. What values do you think are most important in today's society? Privacy. I'd have to say privacy. I think people need to respect each other's privacy. Like right now. You really need to leave me alone. Huh. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, folks, that's all the time we have today for our show. Today's question was, what values do you think are important in today's society and why? After this experience, I'd have to say... Your mic... Oh, I'm sorry, I was muted. Okay, very good, right? So, oh, you got them all right. Very good. Okay, good job, Miguel. All right, you're already finished. Okay, good, good, good job, guys. All right, applause for you, Miguel. <laughs> it's only going to be you. All right, man. All right, guys, so let's, let's move on. So let's go back to um, section four now. So, so far so good, right, Miguel? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go, let's go to section four. You can stop sharing now. And then we're going to talk about this. All right. All good. All good, man. All right. So we're going to talk about future perfect and future perfect continues. So, what do you what what comes to your mind when we talk about future perfect, Miguel? Events that are already ended. Well, events that are already ended. I mean. Okay. All right. So you would say events that first of all, it's events. Events. That have already ended. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember that we're talking about the future, so not 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 quiet. Like like. All right, very good. That are, that are meant to end at a certain point of, point of time. Very good, okay. It will end at some point, right? It will be completed at a certain point in the future. So this is exactly what we got here. Let's take a look at the first example, okay? All right, help me read the first example. To me? Yeah, okay, go ahead, Ellie. Go ahead. By, the, by this time next year, you... Self-confidence will have increased. Very good. By this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. All right. So where do you see, where do you see, first of all, guys, do we have any time reference here? Do you see any time reference? Yeah. All right. Where is the time reference? This time? No. I don't Very know. good. By this time next year. Okay. Very good. Where do you see, where do you see the subject of the sentence here? You. Miguel, you're muted. You're muted. No, it doesn't say you. This is not okay. you. Your self-confidence. Your self-confidence. Okay, this is the subject. Okay, you should write that, this down in your notebook. All right, what else do we have after the subject? Ellie, Miguel, what else do we have after the subject? We have increased. Well, what, what is that? What do you, I mean, what else in grammar? Mm -hmm. Time plus. Well, the is will. this a time plus? Okay. And what is that? What is will? Future. All right. Now, auxiliary will, right? So we have auxiliary. the auxiliary will. All right. What else? What else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, is this a verb? Is this a regular verb, guys? This is an auxiliary, guys, okay? Clear. This is also an auxiliary. And then what, what is this? What is this? Increased, guys, what is that? Is that a verb in the past? Mm, no. 
What is it then? I, I don't know. It is past participle. What is it, guys? It's a verb in what? But. In past participle, okay? Participle, okay. Very good, guys. Okay. So now, according to this, guys, remember, we're talking about we're talking about an action that will be completed by a certain time in the future. Okay, where is that certain time in the future according to this sentence? Let's talk about particular point in the future. So where do you see that in the sentence? Uh huh. Go ahead, Ellie. What do you say? So where do you see? Where do you see the particular time in the future in this sentence? In the future. But <laughs> tell me. Uh huh. In which one sentence? The what? I'm sorry. Which one sentence? In the first sentence. I'm talking. We're still talking about the first sentence. But by this time next year. Yes, that sentence. By this time. <laughs> by this year. time next year. Okay, right. So that is the particular time in the future. All right. So far, so good, guys. Yeah. So far, so good, Miguel. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, and we see the future where. What will have happened, guys, in the future? What are we talking about here? What is that? That's something. What is that? In, what What is that something in the sentence, Miguel? Will have increased. No. no. What is that something that will have that, that will happen in the future? The increase. No. Or your self confidence. Your self confidence. Will... Okay, we're talking. So basically, we're talking about the self confidence, right? Everything that we're talking about is, you know, your self confidence, right? Very good. What about future perfect continuous? Ellie, help me read. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration. Duration. Of an, duration on, a, on an activity in progress at the particular point in the future. By very, the end. Very good. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold on for a moment. Okay. Hey, uh, welcome, Italian. Nice to see you here. Okay. So now. What are we gonna what are we gonna focus on when we talk about future perfect continuous? Miguel? Um the continuity of an a thing or event? The duration, duration of an activity in progress. Write it down in your notebook. Okay. I'm gonna ask you later, okay? What are we gonna focus on, guys? When we talk about present perfect I mean future perfect continuous? What are we gonna focus on, Nelly? Well, sometimes I can hear you. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> All right. What are we going to focus on when we talk um, about perfect and uh, future perfect? Yes. Uh huh. In a, in a duration, duration of the, an activity. Very good. A duration, the duration of an activity, right? Very good. All right. Very good. So, do we have a time reference here? What is that particular time in the future, Ellie? Uh, by the end. By the end of next year. Very good. All right. And what is the action that we're going to be doing by that time in the future? Miguel? Studying. Very good. Okay. She already mentioned it. Okay. We will be studying. Okay. What are we going to be studying, Miguel? Your chosen language. Your chosen language for 12 months. Very good job. All right. Good job. Uh, any questions so far, guys? Italia? No. No, we're very good. Very good. All right, guys. So let's let's um, let's move on. All right. So again, guys, if we talk about both of them, both future perfect and future perfect continuous, guys, do they both express the completion or duration of an action or event at some point in the future? Yes. 
express the composition. Yes or no, guys? Do they both express this? Yeah. All right, very good. What about the second one? Uh, Miguel, what, what, what does the second statement tell us? It does tell, it does tell us of, of the duration of the action that has been continued up to a certain point of time. Very good. Okay, they can be used to talk about an event or action that started in the past but will not be completed until the future. All right. So both can be used, you know, for that. So write that down, guys. Save it in your notes, okay? So we can take a look at more examples. All right, guys. So the structure, right? Write it down in your number, guys. So first of all, guys, we have to remember that we have an auxiliary, okay? Now, let me ask you a question. Uh, Italia, are we always going to use the same auxiliary will or is that optional for future perfect continuous? Okay, I think that is working right. Uh, Miguel, what do you think, Miguel? I think, yes, I think we will. I think we so. We will, will. I think so. But actually, right. I, it's, I think, three dots and then yes, so. <laughs> All right, I think so, okay. All right, uh -huh. so, very good. Yes, actually, we are going to use, well, every time that we talk about the future perfect in, in future perfect continues, okay? What about have? Are we always gonna use have? What do you think, Ellie? Or is that optional? Um, the future perfect, um, I think, yeah. In, any, in every perfect tense, guys, okay. you always use have or has or had, all right? Okay. It depends on the tense. Now, yes, you, you will use have every time that you talk about the, per, the future perfect. Now, let me ask you something else. What if it is, what is the subject is third person? Would you use something different then? What do you think? No. No, you will not be using something different, guys. Got it? So... Mm -hmm. Because we have a model, the model is will, and will is modifying the verb, right? In this case, the auxiliary. So the auxiliary has to be in base form in order to be modified. Got it? Very good. So it will never mm -hmm. change, okay? So in this example, guys, by this, time, by this time next year, I will have graduated from school. What are we understanding? All right, let's answer a couple of questions, okay? All right. When am I going to graduate? from school by this time the next year very good okay by this time next year all right so what what is by this time next year december very good okay all right notice that we are using guys we 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 use this for talking about accomplishments right so what is what is the accomplishment what will I have accomplished by this time next year? Ellie, what will what will I have accomplished by this by this time next year? Your graduation. Very good. The graduation, right? I will have graduated. Very good job. Okay. All right. All right. Let's continue. Any questions so far, guys? Or so far so good? Yeah. Oh, good. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Let's 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 wake up. Okay. All right. So my participant, guys, is gonna be the one who tells me what is the difference. Okay. What is the difference between two billion minus? No, no, no. That's that's too much. Okay. Uh, one million minus nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Okay. Whoever gives me the answer first. Okay. Five, four, three, two. All right. It's one. Very. Thank you very much, Miguel. <laughs> Yes, it's just one. Okay, very good. Miguel, so what about this? All right, what tense is this? Is this future perfect? It's future perfect continuous. Oh. All right. It, it's still telling us of an action that 
it's still being performed and only it's still it's telling us of well it's telling us how long hasn't been hasn't been performed up to that moment okay to... very good okay um very good notice guys write this down guys write down the structure okay well plus the structure for present perfect continuous what is the structure for present perfect continuous miguel yes the subject okay and uh, usually the will will be after the subject but then will be the auxiliaries okay yes okay you got uh-huh then the verb in the ing form which i can't remember it right now what's but what is the auxiliary what, what are you talking about We'll We're talking about present perfect continuous, so no, not not future perfect continuous so far. Oh, present perfect. Present continuous. perfect. Oh, have been. Very good. Have been plus what? Plus the verb in the ing form. Plus the verb in the ing form. Okay, so I will have been. Right, I will have been running. Right. So now again, guys, we have a time reference. So let's answer a couple of questions here. Okay. So by this time next year, will I still be studying? Will I still be studying, guys? Yes. yes. What do you think, Ellie? All right, that, uh, thank you, Ellie. Right, yes. So see, guys, I will have been studying English for six months, okay? So now, in the previous example, guys, the action, did it stop or did it continue? When we talked about, uh, when we talked about future perfect only, did the action, will the action, will the action have stopped in the future or will it, will it, will it, will it continue? Talking about present, I mean, future perfect. It, um... I think in this case, it doesn't really say if it does, but it sort of does imply or imply that it will continue. If I say by this time next year, I will have graduated, will the action stop? Yes. In the future, yes. Very good. Now, in this example, Italia, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. Will the action continue after the this time next year, or will it stop? Continue. It will continue. So we can infer that the difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous is what? What is the main difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous? One does already ended, yep. and the other. No, it's not already ended because remember it, we're still talking about the future. Already right? ended at the time it's meant to represent. Okay. And in and the other is that the action is implied to have to continue. Okay. All right. What do you think, Idali? Can you tell me again the question, please? Yes. What is the main difference between future perfect continuous and future perfect? Uh, when you're talking about future perfect, uh, you are talking about something in the future that um, it, uh, you will you will have done in a moment. But when you're talking about a perfect, no, yeah, future perfect continuous. I think, right? Uh, it's you're talking about something that you don't know if you that if it's going, I don't know if it's that can continue or not. I, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put it simple for you, okay, simply for you. The difference, guys, okay, present perfect, I mean, future perfect, sorry, future perfect, guys. All right, the action, will stop in the future. All right, got it? Did you get that? Did you get that, Idalia? 
Did you get that, Ilaria? Yeah. Really very good. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay, now future. That's all right. Very good. Future, perfect, continuous. The action will continue in the future after a certain after a certain point in time. Okay. So the action will continue, guys. Okay. That that is the difference. All right. All right, any questions so far, guys? Or so far, so good? All good? So far, so good. Very good, guys. All right, so let's learn some of these phrases, guys, and then you, I'm going to leave you to practice, okay? Repeat, guys. After. After. All right, after. now we're going to play a game, guys. Okay, You're going to repeat after me, and then you're going to give me a sentence, okay? So, for example, I will start, okay? After, after having been teaching for five years, I finally will have accomplished my biggest goal, which is getting people out of here with perfect knowledge of English, okay? Very good, Miguel, by then. By then, we will have a better understanding in English. We will have better understanding. Is that present perfect? I mean, is that future perfect? Oh, wait. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. think about your answer. We're gonna ask you again. Uh, Eli, let's go, before. Oh, I can eat before in a future All right. perfect. Think about it. We're gonna ask again. Italia, let's go. When? And it's easy, guys, to answer that question. I will have. Uh, what is the past participle of clean, guys? Clean. What is the past participle of clean? Clean. Okay, I will have cleaned the house before, see, before my wife arrives, okay? I will have cleaned the house before my, my, my wife arrives. Is this talking about the past, guys, just because I'm using before? What do you think, Ellie? Am I talking the about future. the past or the future? Future, I'm sorry. <laughs> Very good, okay, right. So before my wife arrives, right, I will have cleaned of the house all right okay. very good uh good job so let's go miguel by then by then we will have acquired a better understanding of english grammar acquired we will have acquired a better understanding of grammar uh, very good i don't think grammar very good, guys. Okay, good job. All right, I like that answer. Good job. Uh, now, Ellie, your turn. Let's go with before. I will have done my exercise um, before the class ends. Before what? Before the class. Class. Oh, before the <laughs> class ends. Okay, right. I will have finished my exercises before by the class ends. Very good. All right, Idalia, let's go. Give me another one. With when? I will have uh, gone to to my house when I finish to work. When I when finish I work, working. When, when I, I finish, finish working. Very good. All right. Very good. Um, by the time, let's go, Miguel. By the time I come up with an example, the class will have already ended. Okay, so let's see. By the time I come up with an example, the class will what? Have already have finished. already finished. Or All right, All right, let's go. Good job, man. Very good job. You got it, man. You got it. All right, third person now. Third person, okay? Let's not forget about Cheyenne. All right. <laughs> By tomorrow, or by tomorrow at eight o'clock, guys. Okay, let's go, Ellie. Give me an example. Third person. I will. Third person. You can do it. Let me think. Uh huh. All right. Meanwhile, Cheyenne. Italia. Oh, right, Cheyenne, right? You want to do it right now, okay, Cheyenne? Um. We'll. Um. 
All right, think about it, right? Too slow. Okay, let's go. Uh, Idalia, let's go. By this time, okay. by this year, month, week, okay? okay? By this year, so you can say, for example, by this year and this month, during this week. Okay. Uh, or you can choose, I think this is just optional, right? You can say by this year, by next month, or by next week, whatever. Let's go. Okay. By this month? Uh-huh. Um, the English girl? By, okay, well, hold on. By this month? Okay. Next year? Oh, okay. okay. By this month? Okay. By this month, next year? Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh we will mm -hmm. talk about third person third person okay the uh the teacher okay the teacher has has is this future perfect um no all right let's give it me future has to be half, like half I don't know. You tell me. I don't know because. Um, Just follow the structures of present of, of future perfect, okay? Okay, the teacher half. Is that the structure of future perfect? Will, will, sorry. Okay, very good. Uh huh. The teacher will have. Uh huh. Both. But, not both, but. But. Uh huh. A new house. The teacher will have bought a new house when? Yeah. When? Uh, at this day, no. I don't know. But Tell me, you gotta give me the reference. You gotta give me the time reference. That I study with by this time. Okay, by this next, time. By this time when? Year? Next year, next okay, year. by this time next yeah. year. Very good. Okay, good job. All right. Plus four. Dalia, good job. Guys, by the way, can I say the teacher will have bought a new house by this time next year? Can I yeah. say that? Yes, guys. I can I can say it. Okay. Very good. But if you do it like that, there will be no coma. Okay. Just don't don't forget about that. All right. So Ellie, let's go. With uh with eight o'clock? Yeah, go for it. By the month. Um Mm, I need to say by tomorrow. <laughs> I need what? I need to say by tomorrow. I need to say. No, by no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was yeah, I understand. I understand. Yes, you do. Now, uh, the reason why no. I didn't understand if you were asking is because, guys, you don't ask a question like, I I'm need on to L say. I'm do on I, L right? Do I. I? Simple present. All right, okay. let's go. Um, Cheyenne. Uh huh. Cheyenne will have cook the diner by eight o'clock. We'll have cook like this. We'll have cook. Cook, 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 cook. I don't know how to pronounce it. Cook. Repeat cooked. cooked. Cheyenne will have cooked. Uh huh. The diner. The dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. We'll have cooked dinner. By by eight o'clock. By by eight, not a. Eight. eight. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Tomorrow. Okay, good job. All right, su super good. Really, really good. Okay. Very good. All right, so is that clear, guys? Yeah. What about for five for five hours? Let's try for five hours. Idalia, give me an example. Oh, no, no, you know what? Miguel, give me an example, Miguel. For, for, for five ten. hours, for 10 years, for, for a few days. For five hours, by... No. He will have been uh -huh. working on that for 10 years. The next month. Okay, very good. He will have been working on that for 10 years the next month. Okay, very good. Can I say who will have worked on that for 10 years but the next month now we're talking about duration here guys what do we use for duration 
Present, I mean, future perfect or future perfect continuous. We get future perfect continuous. Future perfect continuous. All right. Now, what about since, guys? Can I say he will have been working in this project since Friday? Is that correct? Yeah. No, guys. Okay. Here we have duration. If we want to talk about duration in the second example, we have to use since. But if we use since, guys, if we use since, you have to use this in future perfect. Well, you have to use this in what? Future perfect. Now, future let me give you an example. Let me give you a very cool example, guys. Okay. All right. You can say, uh, Ellie has been, has been, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ellie, Ellie will have been <laughs> doing nails for five years. All right, is this present, I mean, future continuous, I mean, future perfect continuous or future perfect? Future perfect continuous. This is future perfect continuous, okay. Now, what, what was the duration here? Check this out, what was the duration? How long was Ellie being, how long was Ellie, well, how long has Ellie been performing this action? Five years. Okay. Exactly. Nails for now okay let's say for now okay very good so notice guys five years for now right actually no 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 no, no. forget about this okay for five years okay now what if i say ellie uh will have done nails for five years That's future perfect. Okay, Ellie will have done nails for five years. Uh huh. Are we missing something else here? Mm. What is wrong? Which one is wrong, guys? If there is any. Mm. You don't. The second one sounds like a continuous, but the... I don't okay, know. Okay, guys. Continue. Ellie. Okay, guys. Okay. All right. So if we say, guys, let's take a look at the same example, right? I will, let, let's say by, by this time next year, I will have been teaching English for five years or five, four years, okay? Five years or six years. Is there something wrong with this sentence, guys? Okay. You, you are. Um, no, there is nothing. You are using being. I don't know. You are using being and. Okay. I'm not sure. Explain. All right. What about this, guys? Is this correct? I will have been teaching English for 10 years. What about this? Or right, let's say for five years. Sounds like a new. By the sentence. end of a year. By the, by, 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 yeah, we can say by the end of the year. Okay. I will have been teaching English for five years by the end of the year. Now, yes, guys, we can say this, both of them. Now, well, the uh, second one is wrong because of the comma. All right, very good. Okay, it's wrong. With, it's wrong because of the comma, right? But this means, guys, that I'm still gonna continue the action. Now, what about how how, how many years is going to be five years from 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 next year backwards? So pretend that you're in 2021 already. It's December 2021. Go backwards five years, and and when is that? Twenty thousand twenty sixteen. Very good. Twenty sixteen, right? So by this time next year I will have can I, say, I, okay, I will have been teaching English since two thousand sixteen. Can I say this? 
it doesn't really make much sense. All right. Now, if we if you use sense, guys, you have to use a specific time in the past. Okay. Can I say I will have taught English since two, 2016? Does that make sense? I will have taught English since 2016 by, by this time next year? Not much. Not no. much? You yeah, think that's incorrect? Doesn't, no, somehow I don't feel like, like it's right. But I, I can't really. Yes, guys, it is right. But Actually, guys. It doesn't both... feel. <laughs> All right, it doesn't feel right. It is right, guys. Okay, think about it. About this, right? Are we talking about. So let's answer the same question, okay? What will, when, first of all, when will I have accomplished the action? When? When, guys? By, the, by this time next year. Yes or yes, guys? By this time next year, what action yeah. will will I have accomplished? No. Huh? I'm sorry. Go ahead. What action will I have accomplished? Todd, okay. Your... Teaching, okay. Very good. Teaching, right? Very good, guys. So yeah, see, guys, we can still answer these questions. Now, in the first example, guys, will the action still continue or will it stop? By this time next year, I will have been teaching English for five years. Will will it stop or will it continue? It will continue. Very good. When I say by this time next year, I will have taught English since 2016. Does it continue or does it stop? What I have it? a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What is the meaning of taught? Taught is the past participle of teach. Oh. All right. Yes, it's the it verb teach in past participle. All right, very good, very good. All right, guys, so we're going to stop here. This is a very interesting topic. I will give you a very good practice tomorrow, guys, so we can start. Now, guys, do me a favor. Uh, I know, Miguel, where you at right now. Finish the platform if you can. Finish the platform today if you can. Like all the platform. Yeah, Ellie, same thing. Idalia. Uh, Idalia, are you up to date with the platform? Have you finished everything so far? Uh, everything that we've done so far in the platform? In platform? On in the third, third section. Okay, so you have finished one, two, and three completely. No, one and two. Okay. Oh, my God. You need to hurry up. You need to have completed the, the section number three, Idalia. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Cause it's urgent, like urgent, like this urgent. Okay. All right. Very good. Yes. <laughs> very good, Miguel. Very good. Okay. All right. But we're going to continue with that tomorrow, guys, because I have another class. Thank you, Dali, for coming. Please join early tomorrow, guys. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Dali. Nice to see you. Hope you enjoy your night, guys. Goodbye. Have a nice night. night. You too, guys. Take care.